Nice doing business with you. Time to collect my bounty. Because he's not having much sleep. Oh, this is uh, interesting positioning from Nigma. Yeah, great songs. Catching Rubik and the Courier, so shovel down as the roll in from GH. Catching Dragonite with the Magnetize there. And there's Soulbind though, catching Queen of Pain with the DP. The turnaround from the Viper, dishing so much damage, and GH with a double kill. Liquid losing three into four heroes. Nigma striking really strong there, and they can swing into Roshan now. Jumping high ground, Brewmaster. Jumping low ground. Boxy yules up. And there's the silence from Miracle. He's forced to pop BKB. Turns and claps, faces Kuroki. Viper dishing out some serious damage as Kuro swaps GH in and himself out. As Boxy's primal split being cleared up. Soulbind there onto Boxy's the Viper Queen of Pain. Him. But Boxy's gonna fall just at the right clicks from the Queen of Pain. Insania now in trouble as the Ink Swirl out, not gonna successfully extract him from the fight. And GH is straight in on top of them. That's the Arc Warden gone for 50 seconds. Dragon Knight might even be found as well. Mickey farming jungle. That decision making from Queen of Pain pops Lady your cane rune in that. The jump in from Mickey. The chain stunning the Queen of Pain. Oh, Miracle's gone. Mickey now with a BKB. They need to move forward. Mind control dropping low. Self fuels with Spirit Siphon going. We just stands his ground but turns the TP out. They're leaving MC here to die. The ghosts will return and heal her up, but Liquid defend their high ground. Time. But he's being magic HP, being vulnerable. Yeah. They've already jumped up the Viper though. And as we are obliterated, GH with a great magnetize spreading damage across all of Liquid. He pops his BKB and the Minotaur Horn already used GH focusing Koikva, but the Arc Warden is making an escape. Oh no, he's not. That final roll from GH is the Soulbind catching the DP in the Venge. Mind control there with a Sonic Wave from Miracle. Catching the majority of Liquid, but they still had Primal Split. The Soulbind is still going now as the two-man stun for the Dragon Tail. Cycle on the Queen of Pain and focus down everyone else. DP gone. The buyback from Earth Spirit is there, but GH can't get into the fight. Miracle has to blink away. The chase forward though from the DK. Stunned him up and Enigma. They're losing everyone. GH, this is a dieback from him if he can't get out of this one. He's going to be held up, locked in place, and there's the roll from Tiger to finish it all off. Enigma smoked up, looking for this initiation as the smoke pops. Koikva BKBs, Hurricane Pike away, they're giving chase. Koikva, half HP. Enigma need this kill. The Sonic Wave and they clear him up. No buyback on your Arc Warden now. Enigma with a great start to this fight. They've Cyclone of Wii in the back, but they're focused down the DP. The Cyclone drops it down to the ground now as Boxy and Mickey. Doing a great job as the Dragon Tail hitting onto two of them. Queen of Pain and the Earth Spirit both held in place. Where's the continuation Five of the Chain Stun though? They've got the Fade Bolt down. The stun lasts too long. GH has to roll away as we is left here. Naked, cold and alone without any friends. Nothing to keep him warm. GH rolls in for the turnaround kill onto the DK. But it's going to be a slaughter here as Nigma lose four. Another Observer Ward freshly placed by Kuro though, as the smoke broken, boxy focus, silence there, but his BKB into the Inkswell, connecting onto Kuroki as the Avengers falling. In the back of the fight though, the primary fight is GH rolling towards Tiger as Mind Control focusing Mickey. They've stunned up the Queen of Pain, but where's the combo? There's no Soulbind, and Sania's dead as Kuroki also falls. Tiger's been shredded, and Nigma, they're taking down Liquid one by one with the Queen of Pain fear. They turn, they take down the DK. Roll forward, GH. Finding an additional target, Koikva, he's got a BKB TP and he's not going to be stunned up by anything. He play as he pops his spirit double, the jump from Boxy. It scouts out Nigma, rolling onto the Dragon Knight now as Kuroki shredded. Boxy gets the takedown. Miracle focusing Koikva, turn and BKB. But Aegis is, is expiring in seconds. five seconds. Mind Control shifts forward with the ghost flowing and Koikva, he's in all kinds of trouble. The focus on the Koikva, he's got a double kill yes on the GH. Aegis pops, my god it was so close. He'll come back alive, Enigma. They've lost the DP and the Vengeful Spirit now as Miracle Queen of Pain stuck and held in place as Liquid swiping through Enigma now, forcing a double buyback to come through from Quap and ES. The drag back onto the Viper, taking Wii out of the fight. He'll have to buy back as well because the high ground push is coming. He can't really go rolling in here to try and steal, can he? He's thinking can about he? It. He rolls in, he BKBs. Radiant he killed it off. Pressure. He gets Refresher Shard, pops his BKB, tries to roll away, but he's still going to get picked off in the middle of the pit. Wii comes in, the battle kicks off, and Nigma, having lost their teamfight ulti hero, the Earth Spirit, down, they're left up Shit Creek without a battle now. The chase from Liquid, if, if it comes, there, there it is. Blink Dragon Tail onto Wii. The swap back, Kuroki trying to save the Viper now, but Boxy's in. Satanic popped and Wii is back to full health. The swap back from Tiger That's stolen what? up and gets the Dragonite out of danger. Dragon Tail stunned onto the DP now as the Miracle Queen of Pain. Sonic Wave Koikva, but this Arc War is so alive. powerful. 
Koik was still going, and Mickey still alive, the Dragonite is sustained through all those spirit siphons while Tiger has stolen them, turning 3-4 back against them. Nigma, they're fighting with everything they've got, and Miracle will finally bring down Boxy's Brewmaster. There's still Aghanim Scepter upgrade in the pit. Mickey Have they caught the real Arc Warden? They did! Aegis the Immortal's gonna get popped immediately onto Koik for their Team Liquid. Do they have a way back into this fight, or is Koik for just dead? He has buyback. Deso buy 2 on Queen of Pain. Oh, Deso 2. Hang on a second. They found someone. We swap back after the blink stun connected. Kuroki sacrificing himself for that wee Viper who has to face up against himself. That dark portrait from Insania. Real nasty stuff there. And Miracle focusing on Mickey with Nullifier and Bloodthorn. But Mickey just BKBs it off and... Now the soul burns in, they satanic up and the ghost of the pop, mind control trying to sprint forward, but the free pathing from Mickey's DK gets him over the roach pit, as in the back, Koik was slain by Miracle. Nigma still giving chase here, Dragon Knight focusing the Queen of Pain, they've got the chain stuns down, Miracle drops, but Mickey is traded back for it. Both calls here for Liquid do have buyback, Scythe the Vice gonna come in and catch out GH, but Tiger's falling low and Nigma, they are fighting and they are winning this fight. They've lost the Queen of Pain, yes, but the rest of the squad are doing a great job holding on. Boxy was split, ready again. GH rolling in, finds Boxy. They've also scythed up that poor Insania Grimstroke. He's bored back, but they've lost Boxy as well. Brew and Grim both down, but you're absolutely right. Roshan down to 2,000 HP. They kill off the Courier, pop the BKB. Tiger jumps in with a lift up. Can they grab? Snatch the Aegis. Tiger takes it. Rubik has stolen it from Nigma now. The Blink Dragon Tail's in onto Wii. They're trying to focus the Viper down. He's trying to Satanic back up, but the Mickey Dragonite is too powerful. They're both flapping in each other's wings. Ah, oh, miracle. Does find Tiger at long last in the back. Is Mind Control now the target of choice for Team Liquid? But the ghosts are flying and shredding through everything. Boxy's Primal Split units and that coin for Arc Warden. A triple kill for Miracle now. And and it looks like Liquid are running out of buybacks. Mickey, Dragonite on the high ground, the Spirit Vessel's going, and the final scream gets Miracle an Ultra Kill. No buyback on DK or the Grimstroke. Arc Warden can, but Nigma are now five heroes alive, could never close out a single lane. But they've got this Stygian Desolator, Queen of Pain for Miracle, and they've got to know there's no Grimstroke for 30, so they're going for tier fours. Focusing Mickey with a few little poison attacks. Viper very quickly flapping his wings with a roll in from GH. Elon just popped on the Rubik now. Tiger turning to fight for the throne is open. Miracle focusing the building as the DP self fuels. This fell down and brought to the ground. Mind control gone. Buys back immediately. Miracle, he's dropping. The swap back with the satanic. It keeps him alive, but the throne is gone. GG's called. Enigma have done it. Arena of Blood in 20. So they don't have that team fight initiation. And Monkey King has just jumped straight into the middle of all of Cyber Legacy. Wukong's command will come out. Spear over onto the Pikachu Prophet. Back behind the tier one now. Monkey King Echo Slam. Big Num has the Blink Dagger early on. 13 minutes in and he comes in with a big one. TSA is going to get hounded by the rest of Cyber Legacy. And this game is slipping quickly out of control. And you can easily get the Roche with this kind of a lineup. But you see they're not stopping. Whoop. Hmm? Trying to finish off his BKB, but he's being jumped immediately. Turns with the blade mail, nearly kills the Mars in the process of all of this, and Monkey King actually struggling there a little bit as well. Two heroes very low on HP, as now the Fisher trying to counter initiate with that Earthshaker. Lucent Beam spam, look at that coming out, and now the Horn in from Spectre. Good little disruption with a two-man ice path. Brr, great macro fire and Bignum forced to Echo Slam before he dies. Palantimos is being shredded inside the Wukong's command. An aggressive child gets a triple kill as Crystal Maiden does take down the Shadow Demon, but that is not worthwhile here for Cyber Legacy. One team fight is all Wind Strike wanted, and they get absolutely Monkey King's just pinging out Pikachu. Let's go on the Nature's Prophet as they do. Go in with a three-man Mars Arena, catching out Cyber Legacy, but Mars has been obliterated. Spectre will arrive now, haunting and jaunting around the fight, but Happy with the Freezing Field slows it down as the Blade Mail there from the Spectre, focusing Ghost Stick, and Big Num whiffs out on the Echo Slam. Prophet's TPing in to deal with Spectre now, and he's got the damage to do just that. But the control is lacking. They need the Fisher. There it is, finally landing. It's in the back of the fight. The Luna's being focused down. TSA with Aggressive Child finish off Palant. Destruction on top of Deso, and I said it, he went full aggressive, level 20 right now. Palantimos just walks straight up high ground, there's the jump from the Mars, catching out the Chen. Ghost Stick trapped up against the walls, has big enough, jumping the Jakiro, TSA's been blown up by Pikachu, and the Luna from the high ground with the Prophet, focusing Jakiro down, gets a double kill, and the Hort 
Pikachu BKBs. Cyber Legacy, pretty low on HP now though, it's God's Rebuke from the Mars, blocked out by the Fisher and the TPs, where are they? Planting Mars, PKB, Manta Star, trying to run away, TP home, is it gonna be successful? No! The Luna Falls! Tower is under just gonna be primal springing around then there's the jump Mars arena in onto the two supports so no blink echo slam the freezing field lasts about two seconds and windstrike coming in to focus down Palantimos BKB and Manta Pod with the eclipse out but this echo slam from Big Num only onto the spectre means they need to focus but they just can't do it Palantimos is still somehow standing his ground with the monkey kick he cannot be brought down turns and focuses towards Pikachu but that's a profit with a lot of damage Racked it up with the Nick's Wrath and he's going to sprout the Shadow Demon now as TSA makes his way out. Three calls down on Windstrike's side thanks to that buyback from Big Num and they TP forward in towards Kicks. Jakiro gives the triple kill to Pikachu. Like Fisher, it's 2.20 seconds. And they've got a catch. Spectre Blade mails up. The two man Fisher, Big Num, Blink echoes onto that Shadow Demon, but TSA is still perfectly healthy and alive as. Uh, Mars retreating away from his ulti and aggressive child Wukong's command gonna try and zone out Cyber Legacy but they lose the Mars and Monkey he's just being annihilated by Pikachu Palantimos gets the double as he finds the Shadow Demon Pikachu now in a 1v3 he doesn't have BKB or Satanic he can maybe sprout himself and TP back. out but he can buy back now you're absolutely right Luna comes in with the Eclipse but it looks like when Strike have disengaged very nicely Monkey King jumping across the trees, looking for that secondary initiation onto Ghost Stick and down goes the Chen. The buyback from Prophet will come through as Monkey is dispatched immediately. And Spectre got to try and dagger away over the Sprout. Big Num dusted. He's not going to get any more spells off. Happy just tries with a quick frostbite there. And Palatimos dealing with illusions. But Spectre not too bothered. Walks back up the ramp. Climbing the stairs, but there's the Hex on Jakiro, finding that final support kill. Three down, and Windstrike left with Monkey and Spectre against the world. Shadowbladed and has the ninja gear to smoke himself. Spectre shows in front of the Luna as a quick disruption. Starts off the team fight with the Soul Catcher now, with a Blink Echo from Big Num onto the three of them, beautifully placed. The Mars ulti will come out into play, but Palantimos able to stand his ground with that Satanic and beat down into the dire side, but he's lost his life. Luna's gone. Nature's Prophet dead for two minutes as well, as Windstrike turns around and slam Cyber Legacy into the ground even with a three-man blink echo. Mars Arena, I would say. They gave him refresher. Yep, just swap it in. Remove that BKB. Cast it one more time. Now the Spectre Haunt to stop any blink initiation. The Ancient is dying. Windstriker just won this game. Cyber Legacy. Quite a few slip-ups there. They didn't execute that early push strat as perfectly as they would have wanted. Drow's close to like a Manta. They did spot top oh. lane. Toby. I guess Toby was lingering around a bit. Boom's coming in. And with the approach of Boom now, General commits out the arena. They'll finish out Nature's Prophet. Boom wants to get at least the support. Will be successful in that. And now suddenly Iceberg's the one in trouble. More reinforcements show up from Viking as they see a great opportunity to take more lives. And they're successful. They finish off the Death Prophet and they want more. Vessel out. Onto Aloha Dance, can't TP or can't blink away. Tries to juke within the trees, needs one more second. No! Able to make it out and away to safety, my goodness. Blink stun for Tiny, nothing too dramatic, but that is gonna be revealed. And okay, a Yule's opportunity here. Onto a little inch. Tiny's back in with another blink. Oh, here we go, Aramis. He's blinked into four. I uh, don't okay. know about that one. Not enough firepower, but it's enough for Drow to help in getting the clean out and finish with the Earthshaker. So that's going to be a dunk taken off the table in a way. DP will fall next, and they just put their full focus onto General. He's trying to fend it off with their shield, but he cannot beat them away. Now a move in from V2, and he's committing in the ulti. He's giving them everything they have, but it's not going to be enough. No one can stop Shad. Shad on the outlines just hitting him like a turret. With all of that damage, Aramis. this boom with the DD and Aramis. Aramis is able to He's find in. the stun toss onto Iceberg. They quickly turn it around onto Aramis. Will easily... No! The Glimmer save comes in. And he's going to be just fine. Now a jump in Arena to force the Luna back. She's trying to move on forward to go for the finish onto Boom, but now going to be committing in with the full Eclipse. Toby and company running, make it back and away. Gerald looking to chase out, but Shad has found himself in a good position again on the outside. 
trying to deal in the damage, but it's looking like Fly to Moon actually besting this one, chasing it out. Shad's forced to BKB TP away, and look how the, they kill the little neutral creep, providing the extra bit of vision. They spot the Enchantress nearby. They commit in for a general. That's a bigger Spears kill. in Aramis to the Roche Pit to finish him off. But here we go. The, the general gladiator in a bit deep, though, gets shot down as Shad steps on forward and starts dishing out the deeps, taking him out, looking to go for Iceberg next. Iceberg still fighting with the back end of the exorcism, but it's not enough. Shad gets that double kill. They fight from behind the pit as Aloha Dance is narrowly able to make it out in a way, but Viking have reclaimed the Roche for themselves. Fly to Moon can't hold for round two. And you just need some kind of crazy late game damage because this game is not headed a good Ooh. direction. Fly to Moon are waiting mid lane. They pop across. They know Aramis is waiting within those trees. And they're looking to lock him down. Aramis, though, not falling without a fight. He has evolved and changed. This man will not be blown up at a drop of a hat. And boom, who gets seals and isolated, pops the BKB and is going to be looking to commit while Shad cleans out Aloha Dance. Aloha Dance not able to get another dunk off. And nice now silence. their whole team getting blasted down as Shad steps in with a big multi shot. Here comes the Eclipse Arena. This is everything Flight of Moon have. Is it going to be enough to fend off Viking GG? They're chasing, they're running, they're going, but they're not doing damage yet. They've got the Yule's isolation onto Shad. Shad pops out the Manta, but is surrounded. Eats the cheese, heads to the high ground to make it away, but is hit with the Lucent Beam. They're jumping from General. The rebuke back. The Soul oh, the Siphon. Spider legs. The Spider Legs. Ooh. But ultimately, they catch that little rat and they finish off the Drow Ranger. Toby. Not going to be able to make it out. Nice catch there. And it is Fly to Moon with the defense. Oh, they pop the glyph. And they've got a leveler decoder, so here we go. She begins her assault, the Tier 3, eating lots of damage here. How can they stop this? Now with the exorcism, going to be committed. I'm just being caught. They jump in, long behind, boom. Got no He's buyback. out, 90 seconds without a buyback. Could this be it? Suddenly it Fly to Moon. Be. Just about to 2-0 and take Viking GG out of this tournament like that after they worked so hard building up a, what, 11k net worth advantage? It's just going to be handed over? It looks like it could be. Celery eating a wealth of damage, somehow able to force herself back and into the fountain. The throne. But they're all in. Full jugular it's mode. It's over. That's it. Leveler, exorcism, all the demolition you could ask for. And it's going to be Fly to Moon flying their way into the next round. Get the hell out of here, Viking GG. Damn.